sitar back in 2005, and um, the sitar was a regular sitar. Uh, what's regular sitar? Uh, regular sitar has 20 frets, and it has sympathetic strings. Sympathetic strings are strings that they're tuned to the little tuners, not like the, these uh, very small ones, and you have uh, about 13 of them, and uh, the strings run across here. Um, and um, as I started playing more and more music, I realized that I needed something chromatic because in India you have just intonation. Just intonation is when um, everything is tuned in fifths. It's a uh, I mean, in layman's terms, um, the tones are more pure, but you can play in multiple in multiple tunings or in multiple scales. Uh, that concept was developed by Bach, which is uh, equal temperament. And the way he did it was that every single note was equally the same. So um, by doing that when you hear a third in a uh, piano, it'll sound slightly flat, and also a six. Um, and um, that's pretty much the tuning that you use when you're playing uh, a piano or you're playing guitar, you know, Western tuning. Uh, the uh, Indian uh, ragas, they're, they're used to the older system, the, the uh, just intonation, so um, because of that, because I have to work with a lot of Western musicians, including myself, of course, um, when, when I started looking into how to make this sitar work with Western music, I applied uh, extra frets. Um, this one that I have here is actually a custom that uh, I, I was able to get through uh, Rain City it's a website, and uh, as I was talking to the guy there, Lars, he, uh, he basically just told me, uh, what is it that you want, and I'll see if I can get it for you, and uh, I told him I need a sitar with no sympathetic strings, and uh, the reason why is because the sympathetic strings, you have to tune them depending on the raga, so, you know, it's pretty much set in stone, you can't, you, you can't play any other notes, so for something that's chromatic, for being able to go from one key to another, it would be a lot of uh, waste of time. So I, I decided to scrap that. And um, from my experimentation with my older sitar, um, I noticed that when I would place the other, the, the other frets, I needed to elevate them. So I needed somebody who from the beginning knew what I wanted knew that I needed 24 frets, that I needed something chromatic. Um, and um, so what happened was that uh, the, the guy replied to me, he said, that's fine, we can do it. And, um, you know, the result is what you see. I mean, when you see a, a regular sitar, you can, you know, Google it. You'll see that there's big spaces uh, one here, uh, trying to remember, one here, I believe somewhere around here. Uh, so if you were to play, for example, a uh, major scale, you have to have the this fret here. So you so that you go, otherwise you'll get. So by having the extra frets. I can go I mean it's not a pleasant sound right now, but you know, there's several melodies, including classical melodies and whatnot, that have uh, notes which are not originally found in the scale. And uh, that's that's one thing that we uh, made me think about making it chromatic. So uh, in the end I was able to have the same tuning as a guitar and yet have the the reason why I chose the sitar to be my main instrument which is the, the way you bend is, is just, you know, 
If you try doing it on the guitar, it's gonna sound not too pleasant. So, um, you know, I basically ended up getting the best of both worlds, and in the end, without really knowing it, uh, realized that I have a completely custom, unique sitar. There's uh, only one other in the world that I know of that has 24 frets. And um, the, the other one that has 24 frets does have the sympathetic strings. So I basically have one of a kind.